happening now, the vaccine vote. Any minute now, an FDA committee could green light the first coronavirus vaccine in the U.S. Tonight, our exclusive inside a nursing home in the Bronx, how they plan to protect the most vulnerable population starting next week. The pandemic led to a measurable loss at tri-state nursing homes in the spring. Tonight, we're getting an exclusive look at how one nursing home will distribute that vaccine to the most vulnerable population, seniors. News 4's Linda McCarroll live at Hebrew Home in the Riverdale section of the Bronx to show us its vaccine plan. Linda? And Gilma, I can show you right now the staff training that's taking place right behind me. They are gearing up here for December 21st. That's the day they say they begin to plant to start vaccinating residents here at this nursing home and staff against COVID-19. They say the day can't come soon enough, even though there are concerns. I'll be number one online. Kelly Dixon has lived at the Hebrew home at Riverdale for 10 years, but says the last nine months have been the most challenging. I don't even know what Riverdale Avenue looks like anymore. <laughs> and I'd like to take a shot over there. <laughs> he may get his chance soon. The nursing home says his facility has been assigned by the state to work with Walgreens to distribute the vaccine to hundreds of residents and more than 1,000 staff members. We hope it'll be next week. They're going to come with a lot of vaccine. They're going to come with their staff and they're going to work to administer and yet we don't yet know whether it's going to be residents first or staff first. We're going to stagger the employees because if there are any adverse effects, we don't want to be left short staffed or with no staff, same with the residents. Every vaccine that's out I've taken and it's really worked for me, but this is really kind of, kind of fast and it's a little bit worrisome. Webinars are preparing residents and their families that residents could see a mild reaction, but nurses say that should be a sign the body is reacting to the vaccine and building antibodies. Any concern that the residents have about the vaccine is offset by their memories of what they've been through over the last several months. Dozens of residents died from COVID-19. More were sickened in the spring. Residents see the vaccine as a light at the end of a very dark tunnel. This virtual on TV. I need a hug. I need a kiss. I need to see my children. I became a great grandma and I haven't seen them at all yet. So I'm hoping at the end of the rainbow there will be some normalcy back to our lives. Everything is Zoom, but you can't kiss a Zoom. I only think about the good things that are going to happen not the bad things if I don't take it. And the shots will be distributed building by building once given the green light. They say they hope to have everyone vaccinated by as early as the end of the year. Reporting live in the Riverdale section of the Bronx, I'm Linda Becaro, News 4, New York. Back All right, to you. Linda, thank you.